Developing tonight, there's been a wave of shark attacks in the past 24 hours. Two of them happened in Florida, just miles apart from each other. As Marissa Parra explains, officials have shut down the beach where the attacks happened. Video captured by a Florida spear fisherman showing close encounters of the shark kind. Filmed on the same day the beach is nearby him in Walton County, Florida, closed after back-to-back -back shark attacks within miles in one day. You don't ever think it's going to happen. You know, it's like crazy. On Friday, before 1.30 p.m., a woman swimming near a sandbar bit in her midsection and arm. Then, an hour and a half later, just four miles away, two teenage girls seen fighting for their lives after another shark attack. And when I looked back over my left shoulder, I saw the water filled with blood. Two doctors visiting Florida on vacation saw the scene unfold and jumped in to help. We were able to apply tourniquets and apply pressure and get the res in response. It was a team effort. It's unclear whether it was the same shark in both attacks. It's extremely unusual for two to happen in the same afternoon within four miles of one another. Statistically speaking, attacks by sharks on humans are rare. But Friday's Florida shark attacks come on the same day of an attack reported out of Hawaii. And after last week's attack in Galveston, Texas, when 19-year-old Damiana Humphrey had to fight a five-footer off with her hands. As soon as the shark attacked me, um, my body just um, naturally started punching it, and it was in the face. I did that, and it ended up swimming away. We're now I'm going, going about knee deep. <laughs> Back in Florida, as Walton County officials assess next steps, warning flags line the beaches. Is it safe for people to go in the water today? Safe's a relative term, but I don't think people should be hysterical or paralyzed, only insofar as they need to be aware of their surroundings and look out for each other. That was Marissa Parra reporting. Damiana Humphrey, who was attacked in Galveston, says the shark tore through four tendons in her hand. She's expected to make a full recovery.